What's going on? So Brian McKnight's concert in Detroit got canceled. There's been a backlash, backlash with folks because of what he said about his black children and people doing that. And on one hand, if people are taking personal responsibilities against artists for their behaviors outside of the studio, which I have a problem with because I only know your guy given talent. I don't know you personally. But if you're going to do that, then have a higher call in morality. But it's contradictory, though, because black rappers who use the N word call black women B words, disrespect their community, push alcohol, vulgarity, prison culture, drugs and all that. How come there's no backlash to that? Where is the outrage to that? Where is it to defame your real brother or your sister? If you got a problem with an artist because of what he said about the creations of his children without people really understanding. See, it's funny how people have selective outrage, but they won't hold that accountability to say it rapper or say it of that. And somehow that becomes a green light target. You know, I might be one of the few people in the minority with this saying this, but the Kendrick Lamar Drake beef has no bearing on me. Um, Seeing two brothers tearing each other up in a white supremacist society, in a white supremacist industry, doesn't add any credence or any depth to prosperity. As a matter of fact, they just as worse as Brian McKnight because they're falling in the field hands. And it's turned this to some saga with people picking sides. Didn't you do that in the 90s with Pac and Biggie? How did that end up? Or Puffy and Shug, how did that end up? You know, you see the self-destruction moves. Now, you might be outraged with Brian McKnight said, and it might be considered almost career suicide, but is it really that immoral or that worse than what is actually uttered out of some people's mouths? Because like I used Travis Scott's situation in World for years ago in Houston. I used to live in Houston a long time ago. Travis Scott hasn't had people refuse to go to his shows. He's got to pay money out, what have you, but... He hasn't faced any backlash. And there were people who were deleted. And it was a real serious situation at the shows. You think about past hip hop shows where people were using weapons and attacks and all kinds of things. And they didn't face this backlash that Brian McKnight's facing. Now, I'm not condoning what Brian McKnight said. But without being privy to being part of it, anything of the magnitude. However... Again, when people talk about going after people, go after people who offense, offend you, really offend you. And to me, there's nothing more offensive than being called words that demean your blackness or, de or demean a woman and, and things like that. Why aren't you, where's your outrage for Meg Thee Stallion, Cardi B, Nicki Minaj? Where's your outrage, Sexy Red? Where's your outrage for the female rappers that escort and promote agendas? Sexy Red goes to a school and gyrating and she gets thrown off the school. Are you going to um, hold that against her? The Grammys who award these people who do this sort of thing? Are you going to hold that against Beyonce? You know, when, you're, when, you, when you have so-called standards, don't you have morals that go across and not what you selectively? So if you're going to have our reach about Brian McKnight, won't you have it about other entertainments that are black too, that are offensive. You see, it's funny. Jason Aldean, Kid Rock, and some of his other acts have said racist things and what have you. They don't get, or whatever they said personal. Did Eminem get, get sidelined for always talking about it, the mother of his child? See where I'm going with this? <clears throat> But black folks always got to be a standard for something. Always got to be a standard. And it doesn't make sense. It's very contradictory. Now, of course, I find Brian McKnight a very talented talent. It's a personal choice. I think it's shuffling because his feet ain't, feet ain't hit the ground with what he did. But really, Detroit, are we going to really do that? But you, you co-sign Eminem. You co-sign Kid Rock. So if we're going to make stuff personal, let it expound. Just saying. 
Please do like, subscribe, work on thoughts, comments. And I do respond. Thank you. Wash your hands. Keep your mind clear. Watch out for another. Share the review. Like I'm on peace.